hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is daisy and today i'm going to be talking about the taa wedding and it is another 2706 event and it's a vintage wedding and i cannot wait to talk about it yeah let go <laughs> By the way that you talk to me, even when you're not around, I feel you, boy. I feel you, boy. Yeah. Tangled in your love and your energy, perhaps it was the way that you smile. I see you, boy. Oh, I need you, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been waiting. So I'll be talking about the white wedding mainly but I'm going to be touch touching on the traditional wedding very briefly and I'm going to just run through that immediately the outfit was by Diala Sego it was a black and gold outfit very beautiful very vintage I'm still going to come back to the meaning of vintage for those that don't know um and then he also um and then the gele was by Onigele and it was also tied vintage way everything was just vintage the entire wedding like I mentioned was themed vintage and it was right from scratch to finish and I I love it like by now you guys already know how much I love themes and so I am here for themes any form and any kind and I just enjoy talking about and executing themes vintage means it or depicts a certain period in time like it's that is usually aged so vintage is usually like old literally like old school not even old school like even more, more like older than old school does that make any sense um and the, the things that qualify for vintage are lace antiques florals old um suitcases china brown beige and and it also other things like that and this all these things come together so things that are um, brass kind of things and antique and old suitcases and all those kind of things chairs chests sorry um all those kind of things like that that depict old like very old as old as the probably the 80s the 70s the 60s things that they used at those times so that's why we have china and all those things like that and that is what the what some of the things that entails in like putting together a vintage thing because this i think it's supposed to look out for now for this vintage thing the planner like i already mentioned was in 706 events i realized in my last video i was i, I mistakenly certain six or seven while i was editing and i just couldn't i couldn't help but laugh at how i was making mistake somebody else's name i'm really really sorry the seven or six events was the planner for this wedding and it was a very beautiful wedding and obviously the the wedding was a one day event and it was at the palms the five palm obviously you know that is like the next thing that comes after so the five palms our whole event was the decorator Regular stuff. The makeup artist was Bimpe Onokoya. Bimpe Onokoya is one of those top notch makeup artists and yeah, brilliant, like amazing makeup. Photography was by Lumi Morgan and Kezi, and videography, as you already know, is by Utisale. Yeah, it was by Lewis Twist, and the bouquet was by Flower Shop Cafe. Um, the entire wedding was just a very beautiful put together. I really love the fact that we were the, they were able to bring out these things now as you already know 2706 events like i already mentioned in my last video she is one to have more than one um picture area or space on everything like that a place where you can enough places to take pictures and as usual she had two picture areas for this wedding there was one with the with a, a vintage chair kind of thing with some um, floor with flowers and everything like that and there was another one with the piano and it was, it was just an honorable mention you just have to know there was a there was a guest artist and that was two face two baba yes what are you talking about like legend <laughs> whilst you're talking about honorable mention let me mention like to me i think one of the most honorable mentions for this wedding personally has to just be the wedding dress but before i mention the wedding dress i thought this wedding was extra style and they did amazingly well 
um Esso style did top notch but with the bridal styling so they had Esso style we had to be stuck for the hairstyling and i need to mention that the dress no i need to show you the picture of the dress like it's showing somewhere around the on the screen right now the dress the dress was a lot of beauty like it was everything beautiful and more and it fits right into the theme it wasn't a dress that you could pull off for another kind like the dress wasn't something you could have another thing that has nothing that has to do with antique has nothing to do with vintage you, you you probably not be able to pull that off but that dress it pulled it off for that wedding on a hundred it's a classic look a very classic look and a very beautiful one at that it was by a lebanese wedding dress maker and i love it and the name i'm going to try and pronounce it but i hope i don't murder the name zuhair murad official i hope i got this the pronunciation right but it was amazing beautiful dress amazing looking dress such a I see if not for anything this dress alone made me say i must i uh, must review this wedding yeah yeah <laughs> then um on, on the other side another thing about the wedding that i really loved was the fact that at the space for the the joining ceremony um we had the um vintage mirror huge vintage mirror for the welcome board and i really really loved it i love the fact that it looked it looked so beautiful like the entire scenery looked so beautiful the colors for the wedding was gold rich brown and green and they were all beautiful and well put together and i really really love it area yeah, beautifully put together i rarely mention area but this particular one was according to theme and really nice area was by satin and lace and the return gift for the groom's family from the bride to the groom's family was by area concepts now the thing is that I'm going to have to probably one day, just maybe one day, have like a talk about old oh, certain cultures that I'm going, to, I'm going to do like main research for you guys. You guys don't have to be doing such research anymore. I probably would do it culture by culture. God help me if I can. <laughs> but I will start with the one that I know, Yoruba. So let's move fast. It's a beautiful thing to say that vintage is not something that a lot of a lot of people pull off i said i've not just been seeing them it's something that i just love the fact that they were able to give me something fresh and something new it wasn't like okay totally fresh i've seen and watched or and studied a lot of vintage things here and there seen a few in nigeria and all that but i just love the fact that it wasn't like every regular theme that i would see and everything or the no theme at all and it's just so beautiful to see people taking 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 these things all in and it's, it was it was it's just a beautiful one i'm going to bring to you in the next video and i hope that i can bring this video as soon as possible so that we can bring back to back because there are so many beauties waiting to unleash and yeah thank you guys for watching remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on instagram and on twitter until i see you in my next video live love and laugh